Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Prouder Chief from Kilo 23. Today is it's a wonderful Monday. It's about halfway through the school quarter at college, and it's the first real day I've had to actually get out and do some filming for quite a while now. So it's really nice to actually get out here and have some time and film for a little bit and kind of relax. So I was actually editing some footage I had way back in December that I just never got around to editing. It was from the Chris Kringle game, and lo and behold, Adobe Premiere just decided to crash and didn't save anything, even though I saved it. So I don't know what was going on there. So I said, yeah, forget it. I'm just going to go outside and film and just have some fun. So I want to talk to you guys about something I found recently. Really cheap, amazing deal. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I am just want to tell you guys a story. And the moral of the story is you guys can find really good things out there for a great price. You just got to look around. So this is a G&G &G M14. It's the long barreled one. It is obviously not in the greatest condition. Um, someone tried to get the uh, the barrel, uh, the muzzle off here and obviously scraped that up pretty good. There's some pl uh, just the barrel needs some goo gone put on it. It's missing the bolt catch here, which is not a big deal. It's not necessary for it to function. And uh, the front sling loop wiggles like crazy. It's a very uh, very jiggly gun. And I think that's the best way I can put it. But I went to Ed Surplus in Linwood, and they got a lot of the stuff that uh, Surplus did in Woodenville before they closed. And apparently, this was probably, my best guess, a customer's gun from Surplus. Now, uh, Surplus in Woodenville spelled S-I-R space plus, kind of a pun, I suppose. Uh, they worked on customer's guns a lot, and this is probably one of them. And Ed Surplus, I'm guessing they had it in the back somewhere for a long time. They finally put it on the wall. 20 bucks. $20. I said, uh, can I take a look at it? They're like, sure, whatever. I pulled the bolt back. I see it said G&G, &G, hop up. I'm like, nope, done. 20 bucks. I'm taking it. Uh, I was not going to go say no to that and just walk away from it. There's no way in hell I'd do that. Didn't have a magazine. That's fine. You can get those for $15, $20, the cheap classic army ones. Um, it, it wasn't shooting very well. I hooked a uh, battery up to it, and you could kind of hear the motor trying to, so I just hooked an 11-1 up to it and see what happens. Um, I had no idea what was in it. I just plugged a battery in, and it would cycle. It was very slow, even on an 11-1. It wasn't even two or three rounds a second. It would just it'd be very, very, very slow. And this guy had some really thin wiring in it. I think the motor was pretty shot. It was almost completely done. So what I did was I opened it up just to see what was in it, and oh my gosh, uh, did it have some parts in it. It had like a 115, 120 spring, probably modified brand would be my guess. It had a palm piston, uh, one of those like seven or nine metal teeth, I can't remember which. It was like a $60 piston. It had a modified aluminum bearing piston head in it. It had a, I was kind of amazed at this, I'm pretty sure it's a KM head barrel, uh, 603 stainless steel, they were like over $100. The only reason I know it's that one is because uh, Surplus had those, and they were exactly the style that was in this before they closed, so I have to assume that was the barrel. But uh, the funny thing was, whoever put that barrel in here, it was an M14 cut barrel, like the Marui cut M14 barrel. Uh, the G&Gs, they take the standard AEG barrels, so whoever was popping parts in this didn't quite know what they were doing. Uh, so I had that beautiful barrel. I'm going to save that for a uh, Marui M14 if I ever get one. Uh, it had, I think it was an ICS bucking or something very close to that. It didn't have the original G&G &G bucking in it. And uh, what else did it have? I think it had, uh, the shimming was actually not bad on it. It was really good. But it had Systema torque up straight cut gears. And I was, I was kind of amazed at that. Those are actually kind of hard to find gears now. Way back when uh, Surplus would have had this, probably two or three years ago, they were easier to find at that time. Um, so I'm just <laughs> $500 of stuff for 20 bucks. I'm very happy. Uh, I got it shooting again. Uh, I reshimmed it. I put some uh, system of helical gears in it because I actually wanted the straight cut gears for my GR25, and they, they worked out beautifully. Uh, my own stuff in here, I put some different wiring in it because the stuff I had in there was really thin. I put an Extreme Fire Cheetah MOSFET in here, and oh my gosh, this sound great. It, it's very smooth. This is on a 7.4. I'm not running anything too fast on it. And I really, and there we go. 
This selector's a little finicky. Really like it. I've owned several M14s in the past, including a uh, short barrel GMG, the SOCOM model. I don't know why I ended up selling them or trading them all the time. And I'm hoping to either uh, either trade this one soon and stick with my uh, my MO on that, I guess, or uh, or keep it and upgrade it because it's really a beautiful gun. And G and G's got some of the better M14s out there by far. Definitely a little more expensive, but well worth the money. That's my little story. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm I'm gonna try this thing out. I'm gonna, probably gonna get some mags for it, see how I like it, and we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully I'll have some more for you guys in the near future. I'm trying to take more time and just do some videos and actually get some content out there. I know I've been very lacking lately, and you know, that's the way life works. Sometimes you get busy with life, class, work, and things like that, where you're trying to get farther in life, and other things kind of fall behind. So that's that's how what happened here, pretty much. So hopefully I'll be able to put a little more time toward this channel, a little more time toward my videos and editing, and get some more content out there. So anyway, I got a lot of guys that really enjoy watching these things, and I really enjoy putting them out there for you guys to see. So hopefully I'll have some more out there soon. This is my G and GM14. I'm curious to see what happens with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Prodigy from Kilo23. I'll see you guys next time.